classic car porn. I'm speechless. Nice. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Because drift car. G power compressor. You didn't look too impressed. Morning, comrades, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. If you watched last night's vlog completely, then you know that tonight I had to, well, last night I had to stay at La Lanterna because our hotel was fully booked. And if you also watched yesterday's vlog, then you also know that today I'm going to Holland, and in particular to Bimmerfest. A very big BMW event. So first stop I have to go to Ring Garage because there, that's where I'll be meeting up with Ally with the E34 and 5 of Racist Retreat in the backseat with Boris and also uh, Natalie. She will be joining us, so probably we'll be going with three BMWs to the event. Well, not for talking. Let's go quickly to Ring Garage because I'm running behind schedule. Just want to show you this amazing view. Nice villa from uh, La Lanterna and amazing E36. Let's go! We're supposed to meet up at Salmon at Ring Garage, so I'm running a bit late. So there's Natalie already waiting, and Eli is still not here. Always the ginger that's late. Well, usually it's always Russian who is late. Hello. It's okay, I'm late myself. So. It's okay, I'm late myself. So. Oh, she sounds like like she's used properly. Okay, I'm done. Only running 15 minutes behind schedule now. And I got me this awesome, amazing croissant which is filled with chocolate. Big thumbs up. Thank you. And yeah, let's go. We need to pimp your car. Did you get a white? Yeah, I have. Yeah. Usually people stop at gas stations to get some gas. In this case, we stop to put some stickers on. Yay! Hey. Perfect. Now we can go. Well, we have arrived. That's a nice traffic jam full of BMWs. And I'm the only BMW who is using blinker right now. Maybe I should switch it off. That's better. Oh my god, there are so many beamers behind me, but the most crazy part, look, it goes all the way there, there, there. And somewhere there is a, like, a crossroad. And then it goes here, here. That's also all traffic jam to the entry. Full of BMWs. This is just retardedly crazy never seen so many BMWs in my life and I think we'll be spending here about if I should be guessing half an hour maybe more maybe an hour in the traffic jam hmm. Ally is still there behind me and that's Lee as well so that's kind of cool no I'm being pictured or filmed I don't know <laughs> look there's a guy sitting on top of his roof it's like Mr. Bean action, apart from the fact that there's someone actually driving in the driver's seat. And there was just a police car rolling down and it surprises me that it didn't pull him over. They are also probably the reason why it was a traffic jam. So now everyone start driving. Hey, this is not a BMW, this is like a Punto or something. We're standing in a queue, we could better use our time wisely. So, clean the rims. Actually, I just find out that the M5 had some damage. So what exactly happened with the hood? Uh, I think it was a parking error. Like parking an error. An un unnamed member of the RR team. Very expensive parking error. But yeah, anyway. Ah. 
Boo! We have arrived at the Bimmerfest, just bought the ticket. Me and Natalie had to park on the outside parking because the pedal car that I got for the M5 is obviously for the M5 and it's somewhere over there right now. We have to walk all the way back, all that way, all that way, and then we'll be somewhere in the show area. So, yeah, let's start walking. Hey, you want? What's up, Boris? Good, man. Yeah, good, man. Geweldig, Ring Taxi is here. He's at the top, eh, camarades? Ah, yeah? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> well, that's a good start of the day. Let's continue to walk through the traffic jam to the entry. You see that? Like, see you later, man. Yeah, see ya. We found Mr. Ginger Balls, Ale, whatever. <laughs> the car is parked here on the paddock of Band Beamers. So, big thanks to the club who gave it to us. Big thumbs up. Band Beamers. Band. Or, or band. 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 Then, yeah, we're gonna go and have a look what's happening here today, meet some more of our friends, check out some cool cars and then we'll see. Some what? Camel. Oh, camel pants, yeah, absolutely. So we found the first, what is it? I don't know. I don't yeah. No. Well, anyway, the license plate says 332, you may wonder why, because it used to be 335, but the rims are minus three points. But luckily to compensate, on the other side of this one, Classic car porn. Okay, this is this is I'm speechless. Just enjoy the footage. Don't let me ruin it with my stupid comments. <laughs> Have you ever seen side mirrors on the front? Uh, on a beamer? Not on a, on a beamer. No. Like a it's beamer. more like Japanese styling. And a nice 2002. Get lost in take on it. This is also quite interestingly amazing. Not sure what to think of the net over the headlights, but yeah, whatever. Maybe some of them. Yeah, let's get that for the M5, man. Sweet, sweet. At 20 horsepower, minus five seconds bridge to gantry, probably. <laughs> hey, comrades. Comrades. <laughs> Dat een mooie steek erop lukt. Ja, ja. Hey. Thumbs up. This car is a BMW 335 with 707 horsepower. You probably know it if you love BMWs and are pretty active on social media. One thing I want to tell you is that the owner who stands over there, that muscular beefed up guy, uh, we go way back, like we know each other for over 10 years. He used to tune scooters back in the days. And he had also a pretty sick uh, Nissan Silvia S15, building like 4,000 horsepower, but he abandoned the project and now he built something like that. So that's just some, well, some background information. Let's continue our way. What does the man with the Erlins cap has to say about the Burstein commercial? <laughs> Mr. Fontaine and Mr. Kevin Dachihoff, one of the co-hosts of Hostesses. Of with the various episodes. There is one detail I want to show you. Ta 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 ta. Were you drunk when you placing the sticker? Yeah. Why is it not straight? It's because I'm not straight. <laughs> Sometimes on the weekend. So what have you done to the car? Oh really um, nice positioning of the clocks. It's, it's more like more like original sort of. Nice. Amazing. So when are you coming to Nürburgring Drift Cup this year? Uh, next year. Dude, <laughs> this guy. I'll go say hi to Mr. Fontaine. Hey man. Hey, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine. And you? Yeah, good, good. So those are all the guys of the Gymkhana thingies. Yeah, whatever they call it here. I place my bets on this guy because he has also won the Nürburgring Drift Cup. Huh? 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 
You're taking passengers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Again. The <laughs> hood. Look at the suspension. No, let's go. And that gets us the difference between a stock BMW and one which is slightly tuned. Oh, someone's having a trouble. And next to the 330 of Dachi, there's this interesting one series with, well, what used to be a fa over fender. I don't know where it's gone, maybe you stole it. No. You don't want one of those? No, I think I'm right for now. Okay, cool. It has an E92 entry engine, V8. As you may remember, there is a M1. This is not an M1, but there is an M1 at the Nürburgring Drift Cup, which has a M5 V10 engine. But I think that this will suit this car a bit more. Not sure about the spoiler. What because, do you think? Because drift car. Because drift car. Uh, could you say that again? <laughs> This is what happens when you do drunk internet shopping. Actually, I should. St the sun is coming from there, so from here you can see the beard more better, and it suits the color of this car. Is it actually? Like yeah, that? yeah. Let's let's see, dude. It's perfect match. Oh. You should get this car. Uh, I don't think I'd drive it. <laughs> no. Look how it's really. It's like the car yeah. throttle shoe tester, like that way. Like car throttle what? Shoe tester, whatever. Shoe tester. <laughs> shoe tester. Uh, the whole shoe. Ah, uh, so they have like those. I know the, fist, the exhaust fist test, but. Yeah. No, but it's yeah. like shoe arch gap or something. 635. Amazing. Is this still a shark nose? Or not anymore. Well, is this a shark nose? Oh. A shark nose? Yeah? yeah? Okay. Then it's a shark nose. A friend of mine actually is building this car already for five years while well, Shermer is building it for him with like thousand horsepower ring tool yeah so we still gotta see that car in completion but everyone appreciates six series that's like the first car that Eli appreciates so for today's show so I think we got a winner here yeah we can go home yeah let's go home yeah <laughs> now would you look at that Nürburgring company is here, Jacob's Paddock. They actually rented the E92 M3 a couple of weeks ago from us and they suit your beard as well. If you're under 18 and well your parents are not with you so I'm not responsible for the culture shock that is going to follow right now. No comment. Dude, your beard just turned white <laughs> from watching this. So, so there's a pirate and there's a ghost. I know a lot of people are going to hate me right now because like pissing off cars is job of boosted Boris and I'm supposed to be the good guy, the alter ego, but yeah, I'm not saying it's, yeah, what to say. I'm just, yeah, well, yeah. Well, well, we will. The problem is not a problem, the problem is your attitude about, about what? About, about the problem. I am perfect. Oh yes, I am. There's like really motivational quotes on the rim. You should yeah, I mean, there's, there's Captain Jack Sparrow front rims as well. So. Hey ho, Captain Jack. Oh, yeah. Do you think it handles like a boat? Like a boat? No, like a ghost ship. Maybe it sticks to the road like a squid. <laughs> this is creating some internal conflict. <laughs> yeah. Ever wondered how to give zero fucks? Like that. <laughs> Apparently there's also some drag racing going on. I hope that Marco that we saw earlier with 700 horses is going to compete. So far only stock cars. Yes. 
Very impressive. No. You didn't look too impressed. Small lunch break. Probably should have put a spoiler on the M5. What do you think? Should put a spoiler on the M5 so we can have some food on the spoiler. Some shade. Yeah, and a shade as well. We'll think about it. I'll ask Boris. E92 M3 with the G-Power compressor. Probably between 7 and 800 horsepower. Pretty cool. But the most interesting part is over here. The M4 GTS. And... Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, 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 we know it by now. The weather is so hot, we just decided to take our shirts off. It's just retardedly crazy hot, so... We'll be doing some drag races in a bit. Drag races, stay tuned for that, and after that we'll be just going home because it's just unbearable. Don't ever go sit on the hot leather while being naked. You may burn yourself and end up red like this guy. What the fuck are we doing? <laughs> Let's do this fucking drag race. Wait, we don't have any spoiler. Go! Yes, let's go home. I don't get it. Have we won? I think we won. Yeah, I think we have the most class here. Wow. 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 Is that a 507? No. No, it's not. Or is it? Is that? Whatever it was, it was fucking amazing. I'm gonna say it's the amazing way to end Bimefest. It's currently only one o'clock, the event is going on till four, but the temperature is rising and we cannot take it. So we just decided to bail because, to be honest, we've seen everything we could see and I hope yeah, you enjoyed it as well. I'm going to Holland. Our friends are going back to Nürburgring. I'll be joining them tomorrow again. But for now, it was amazing, but way too hot and it's going to storm in a bit anyway. Yeah, there are still cars arriving. There is still a freaking traffic jam here. It hurt it. Oh wow. As I'm driving away from the terrain of Bimmerfest, it makes me thinking it's actually quite good to leave the events a bit earlier or sometimes also a bit later than the actual end of the event because with those big car shows, unfortunately, police really likes to ruin it for a lot of people so they stand there looking for modified cars that have illegal mods or like uh, two old tires well in this case they're they're right but they like target those events well as you were able to see today already at the entrance so at the exit that's usually the same story so i don't have anything illegal on this car well not that i know of Hmm. This is just like a reminder for you guys. If you have a modified car and you're visiting an event for the first time and your mods are just slightly over the legal boundary, then you may want to wait like one hour or two hours longer after the official closing time or leave slightly earlier because uh, after the event, it's every the same story. You hear people complaining that they got caught by the cops who were waiting for them and like their exhaust was too loud or just some really bullshit things because they're off to money. Bye bye, Natalie.